Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Pack 1, pick 1. What do we have? Ayara is a rare, which is uh, quite strong, especially of course if we're monoblack. Can uh, drain the opponent out, maybe sack some weaker creatures or in response to removal to draw some extra cards. Uh, Resolute Rider is an absolute house if you can cast it in a black-white aggro deck. The indestructible ability is uh, very relevant. Of course, there's still some removal spells that can answer it, mostly enchantment-based ones like uh, So Tiny and Trapped in the Tower. But against Trapped in the Tower you could maybe give the Rider flying and still get out of it. But for the most part you're looking to uh, keep the Rider safe with the indestructible ability, which works uh, most of the time. Then uh, Grimgully, good incentive to maybe go red-green as a powerful legendary goblin. And then looking at the commons, the trebuchet, definitely a nice one as we saw in that game, and then two reasonable blue cards for the mill deck. But uh, for our first pick I think I'm looking at uh, the top row here, Ayara, Ryder and Grimgully. The, they're all defensible. Both Grimgully, Ryder and Ayara kind of commit us pretty heavily to a certain color combination. In the case of Ayara it's going to be heavy black, even though it doesn't have to be mono black. We probably want to play Ayara with at least 11 swamps. This set doesn't really support three color decks, there's not a ton of mana fixing, but uh, I guess green does have a little bit of mana fixing, so if we do end up splashing it would probably be in a green deck. And Grimgully is an okay splash card, but not the best, since ideally we play it early, so we can uh, get value from the plus one plus one counters. But in a way, Ayara is the least committal, as we can still be like any black deck as long as it's heavy black. Well, I'll take the rare. Ooh, and reward it right away with potentially one of the best uh, uncommons in the set here. Sir Conrad could easily be a rare. 5 mana 5-4, five, drains the opponent whenever anything happens basically. And then the 2 mana ability can also win the game. So that's going to be our pick, and then looking at the rest of the pack real quick, Drown in the Lock of course nice for a blue-black mill deck, some good red aggro cards with Trebuchet, Rimrock Knight, Guardian also pretty good combo with Ayara, as we can deal to and draw a card, but that's an easy Sir Conrad, and hopefully we can wield the Wicked Guardian. So no amazing black cards here, so we're probably going to start picking up cards from a second color, and I think there's two major options. We've got Out Muscle as a nice removal spell, although it is better if we're heavy green so we can use the Adamant ability on it. Although it's not necessary, it's still fine without it. And then we've got a Glass Casket as a nice two mana removal spell, similar to Reef Soul. It does Exile, and this is Convert Mana Cost 3 rather than Power 3, which sometimes is better, sometimes is worse. Yeah, like the Skewer and the Memory Theft are both pretty mediocre. So I don't really want to take them here, even though they do pair well with the colors we've already drafted so far. I think I'm leaning Casket over Out Muscle. I think the two cards we've already picked up could lean into white a little bit better than green. Since green is all about food, it's all about um, trying to kind of outgrind the opponents. But Ayara and Sir Conrad could set us up for a relatively aggressive deck as well, and white leans a bit more aggressively than green, but uh, yeah, I mean, we could easily not end up white. It's not like we're committing to white by taking casket here, but I think it makes sense for now, and well, we got rewarded once again with a nice Wintermoor commander, two mana, two power for death touch, and toughness equal to the number of knights we control, so at the very least it's going to be one when it attacks and other knights also indestructible. Uh, other good cards in the pack, Swordmaster could be okay if we've got a bigger knight theme. Uh, Tempting Witch is okay, and of course the Witch's Cottage is a nice land, especially if we're going to be heavy black. But I think the commander has enough upside and just pairs well with what we already have. Sir Conrad's a knight, and White's got plenty of other knights we can pick up, so yeah, let's take commander. A Lost Legion looks okay, we're going to be heavy black, so double black in the mana costs should not be an issue, it's a knight for the knight synergies. Unicorn could be serviceable. Main decking a True Love's Kiss is not uh, terrible in this format since there's quite a few enchantments. 
but it is double white, so it's not super easy to cast. And our deck doesn't really want a Ginger Brute, I don't think. So yeah, Lost Legion it is. And yeah, Fairy Guide Mother, if our deck is slanting towards a more aggressive deck, could be serviceable. Can maybe unlock a creature that's trapped in a tower. The Noble could be fine too. Just a 2 mana 2-2 two -two with a bit of upside. But I think the Guide Mother has more upside. Nothing here that I'm too interested in. Don't think we're ever playing this in a deck with Ayara in it. Not gonna have enough planes. Princess is pretty bad, and Lash of Thorns is a pretty mediocre trick. Any chance I can not end up in white, or not end up in black, and I want to move out of it. I don't think there's any way in which uh, I don't play black, since Sir Conrad is just uh, insane. So I could potentially move out of white, in which case... What do I take here? An opts in case I go blue-black? I guess. Alright, I guess I'll take another commander. Over Cottage. Nothing here that I'm too excited about. Could take a ritual if uh, we end up with a lot of like tokens that we can boost up. Shriek, I don't think I want to be main decking. And we're playing best of one. Otherwise it would be a great sideboard card, so I would definitely take this in best of three. But this is best of one. Take the ritual. And nothing here that I want. Maybe a Shining Armor, but I doubt it. Hangewalker could be serviceable if we're trying to cast Ayara. Seems unlikely to make the cut since I already have a couple threes and can probably pick up some Knights for better Knight synergies. Memory Theft also kind of a medium main deck card, good sideboard card. I'll uh, take the Walker for now, I guess. Shambling Suits. We've got a glass casket, maybe a walker as artifacts, so not too impressive. I guess the Shining Armor as well. Tempting Witch, also not going to be at our best in this type of deck since we don't have a ton of food in black-white. So another pretty insignificant pick. Alright, so we're pretty nicely set up for a black-white deck with double commander. So we're going to try and pick up more knights, we're going to try and pick up some good removal, only have the casket for now, so that's definitely something we can improve. And then uh, Orcurs, relatively low at the moment, so our deck is kind of slanted more aggressively, but picking up some good 4 and 5s to kind of round out the curve would be nice. So still have a lot of work to do here, but we've got a good base, and uh, it's only the first pack, so lots still to go here. Alright, that's a nice one. Epic Downfall is excellent removal. Castle Arden Vale is also a great mana sink, making 1-1s one in the late game. But we are also trying to play Ayara, so it's going to be difficult to activate Castle in a deck playing 11 Swamps, for example. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see how the mana base uh, shakes out, since some of these white cards I want to cast early. So I will need to play some number of uh, planes, so the mana base is going to be somewhat tricky to figure out. But Epic Downfall is an easy inclusion no matter what, so take that here. And a Reef Soul, kind of similar to the Epic Downfall, just being able to deal with slightly smaller creatures. Could speculate on Witch's Oven in case we get the 1-1 uh, one -one Cat that synergizes with it, but Reef Soul's just a lot more consistent. Right, Steel Claw lands a nice payoff for the Black Red Knight's deck. Not really something we are interested in. Tournament Grounds could potentially help fix our mana a little bit. But Ayara, for example, not a knight, so the tournament grounds wouldn't really help. So yeah, this is between the Fox and Tower. I guess Reaper maybe still part of the conversation here as a curve topper. Even though we just picked up two good removal spells, I don't mind another one. Uh, Fox is okay, but I kind of like uh, Trapped in the Tower here. Alright, a lot of uh, good picks still in the pack. Another Trapped in the Tower would be excellent. A Guardian would play well with some of our creatures here. Commander can sometimes have more than uh, two toughness. Ayara, Lost Legion. So lots to deal damage to with the Guardian. But the Falmar Knight is just a great card individually. It's also a Knight for the Commander. It's something I can easily see sacrificing to Ayara to draw a card. So it's just overall the more well-rounded card. And we do need to start picking up some additional creatures too. 
So here I could see taking Knight over Trapped in the Tower and Guardian, since we seem to be doing okay in terms of removal now, between the uh, Downfall, the Reef Soul, the Trapped in the Tower, the Glass Caskets, we've got a decent bit of removal. So I think I can take the creature here. So probably not gonna end up blue. Another Fairy Guide Mother would be okay. Spinning Wheel is actually decent in this deck for a number of reasons. It gives us like a late game mana sink. Currently don't have a ton of expensive cards. In the late game we can just spend our mana tapping stuff down from the opponent. But then also the mana fixing aspect of the card is nice in a deck trying to play Ayara. So that could be decent. Another Guide Mother would be okay to just uh, give our creatures flying, get in a bit of evasive damage. Can be a good way to end the game. But uh, looking at our curve, I don't mind the spinning wheel. And I've got a few options here as well. Swordmaster looks okay. I've got plenty of knights for the adventure half. And a 2-1 lifelink is serviceable over Squire, which is kind of a medium combo trick, followed by a 2-1 without lifelink. I guess even Knight of the Keep could be a consideration, although it's pretty mopey. Rally is kind of medium. We're not really a go wide deck as much. Now we've got uh, two solid options. Barrow Witches can return the Knight, so quite synergistic in our deck. Wicked Guardian draws a card. But I guess we kind of like the Barrow Witches here, since we've got so many Knights already. Outflank could be okay removal too, but we're doing okay in terms of removal. Just want to pick up some more late game cards and just some uh, creatures in general. So close call here between Guardian and Witches. I think I'm leaning Witches. Got a few options here. Foreboding Fruit is a bit of card draw, wouldn't hurt. Another Guide Mother would also be okay. Don't think I want Paladin in a deck that's heavy black. I think I'm leaning Fruit. Don't have a ton of uh, card draw, so... Could use a little bit. And now do I take an outflank? Probably. Don't see myself playing the Tempting Witch. Take a random knight. Alright, Reaper might make the cut, since we don't have much late game at the moment. Alright, so heading into the last pack, we kind of shored up the removal problem that we had in the first pack. Now we just need to make sure we can pick up some more creatures. That seems to be the biggest uh, issue at the moment. Not too excited about Henchwalkers or Shambling Suits. Knight of the Keep is also pretty medium, so hopefully I can improve those. Shining Armor is also pretty bad. So yeah, some good uh, two drops would be nice. Some more fours and fives. And yeah. Order of Midnight is great, it's a 2-drop if we need a 2-drop. And then the late game gives us a nice bit of recursion, getting creatures back from the graveyard. Youthful Knight, also totally serviceable, Shepherd is fine too. But I think I'm liking the order here. And plenty of cards we can hope to wheel between Paladins, Shepherds, Youthful Knights. And Ball of the Brawl is excellent, nice uh, evasive 3-drop, pumping our Knights. So can't really ask for more. And this is a close call. I think we're looking at mostly Paladin versus Forever Young. So Forever Young, besides just recurring cards from the graveyard, is also kind of nice against the uh, mill decks that are pretty popular on Arena, since uh, you can just put a bunch of creatures back on top, make it more difficult for the opponent to mill you out. But uh, Paladin would give us a nice 4-drop, and currently we don't have any. We're going to be heavy black, so enabling Adamant shouldn't be too difficult. It is true that for every young combo is with Conrad quite nicely, so again, it's a tough call here. I guess Pathfinder should be a consideration too here. How many adventures do I have? Like a Guide Mother, a Falmar Knight, Order, Swordmaster, I guess I have a couple. They're mostly pretty cheap, so the curve doesn't always work out the way we want it to. Because if we play Pathfinder on 3, then that means I maybe need to hold 
my Swordmaster for an extra turn instead of playing a turn two. So Pathlighter would be okay, I would definitely play it if I picked it up here, but uh, I think Paladin and Forever Young are a little bit more important at the moment. I think we might wheel a Paladin out of the previous pack as well, so that's also part of the equation. Now I can probably just take another commander. Needed more good 2-drops, and that's definitely one of them. And again, a lot of other good cards I could also consider here, but... Uh, just take all the commanders. And Scaldron versus Legion. Could use some more good 3s, and Legion seems quite good in our deck. Uh, Scaldron is okay, but it kind of fills a similar role to the Reef Soul and the Caskets. So, yeah, I think I like the Legion. This might be a deck where we actually want a Giant Skewer just as an equipment and Mana Sink. Otherwise, a Guide Mother would be serviceable. So, how's our deck looking like? So, Falmar Knight is usually a turn 3 play, but can always play it for 1 if we need to. Midnight is also usually a 4. Plenty of commanders on 2. The 3 drops are looking good now. Yes, Cure is actually not bad in this deck. I've got plenty of cheap creatures to equip. Let's try it. Pretty happy with the Guardian. Great synergy with all the 3 toughness legions we have in the deck. And commanders are going to be 3 toughness most of the time too. I'll take another one. Alright, so that kind of helped fix the 4-drop problem we had before. And we wield all the cards we wanted to. Youthful Knight is pretty decent, especially if we play the Giant Skewer. 4-powered First Striker is excellent. Uh, Shepherd can save creatures from removal, it can help me trigger enter battlefield abilities again. Yeah, I think I like the Youthful Knight. Just more Knights for the commanders. I already have plenty of Rituals in the sideboard. Might play one of them, and alright. Close call here. Lots of playable cards still in the pack. All of these could potentially make the deck. So we can take our time and kind of build the deck and make a very informed decision. So cards I'm not too excited about. Outflank. I think I'm okay with a skewer in this deck. Foreboding Fruit is potentially cuttable now that I picked up double Wicked Guardian. Spinning Wheel still seems okay. I like the Reaper still. So these two are the easiest cuts at the moment, I think. And I could see cutting the Guide Mother as well. So I could just cut those three. In which case, just picking up a land to improve my deck without actually costing me a spell slot seems nice. Uh, Lockthway and Paladin would be decent. A Menace creature that we can potentially make indestructible sounds nice. I don't know, it just seems like Cottage is pretty low opportunity cost to add it to this deck. And a bit of extra recursion doesn't hurt. Let's take a Cottage. I don't think Paladin's very much better than Wicked Guardian. Like, Wicked Guardian draws a card almost all the time. Like, we have so many 3 toughness creatures that we can easily deal 2 damage to, so this is just a 4-2 that draws a card, which, you know, is uh, potentially better than a 4-3 menace. What if I just make those cuts? Probably still a 17 land deck. I've got a couple of mana sinks now with the uh, spinning wheel, we've got the giant skewer that we can spend some mana on in the late game. Decent chunk of removal. Good amount of 2-drops. Orders more of a 4-drop. Falmar Knight also more of a 3-drop first. And then Reaper we can usually play on 4. And then a couple Curve Toppers. So our Curve isn't insanely high. Uh, but I don't think I want to play 16 lands, especially given that we need so much black for Ayara. But still a decent chunk of white for the turn 2 commanders. Probably at least one extra Swamp. Don't think I can go below 7 planes, otherwise it's going to be pretty tricky to cast these commanders on turn 2. Oh yeah, the, the fruit was also going to get cut. So yeah, I think this is where I'm at. How many targets for Wicked Guardian? So, 
the commander if we have two extra knights in play. We've got uh, two Lost Legion, Ayara. So, and then of course the five drops in the late game too. I think we've got enough for the Wicked Guardian to be decent. And then with the Wicked Guardians, I have less of a need for Foreboding Fruit. We have a lot of Death Touch creatures, so that's one way to kind of find the bigger creatures out of the green decks, for example. We've got Triple Commander and uh, Falmar Knight, so we have ways to kind of beat potentially larger creatures from the opponent. And then we can try and close out the game with some of our evasive creatures like Order, Reaper, Sir Conrad can win the game. So I'm not too worried about those. Against the mill decks we have uh, Sir Conrad potentially, Forever Young against the mill deck too. And we've got a bit of other graveyard recursion between the Cottage and the Barrow Witches to get Sir Conrad back from the graveyard as well if it gets milled. We've got a decent chunk of recursion, Order of Midnight as well. So we get plenty of access to Sir Conrad against the mill decks, which is important. I don't think I need the Ritual, which is kind of a high variance card, which can win the game, but it can also be a stone blank if we don't have any creatures out. I think I prefer the Giant Skewer in that slot. Seven planes, still reasonable enough to cast the turn to commander while not compromising the... Ayara, like Ayara is not going to be a turn 3 play in this deck, it's going to be more like a turn 4, turn 5 play. And yeah, the spinning wheel helps as well with the mana fixing, so that's also why I like it in the deck. Gives us a bit of late game mana sync, which we don't have a lot of. Eh, let's go. And the sand seems fine. I think I'm playing Cottage turn 1, or am I? This is a tough choice, I guess I can still play turn 2. And if I draw a Swamp, I can save it. Not gonna play the Falmar Knight yet. Yeah, let's just play it now. Turn 3, Ayara. Then uh, turn 4, I can draw a card with the Falmar Knight and uh, play it. Up against Black White with uh, Ginger Brute, so it's a bit more aggressively slanted. All right, and all that glitters is a good combo with uh, Ginger Brute. Sadly, can't kill it with Epic Downfall, so that could definitely be an issue. Need a Trapped in the Tower. Reef Soul no longer works. I guess Glass Casket would be a good answer as well. I think I got a draw here with the knight and play it. And then how desperate am I to dig for answers here for this ginger brute? Do I want to potentially sacrifice the Falmar knight or do I just attack with Ayara and hope to somehow race? I mean, I do have a Swordmaster, which can both gain life and drain the opponent as well. So I might be okay attacking with Ayara here. Opponent's going to be forced to spend one mana to make Ginger Brute unblockable every turn. So we've got that going for us. And I could always, like, sacrifice Falmar Knight and then pick it back up with the Forever Young to dig me a bit deeper. So I've got some time before the Brute actually kills me. And it's going to hang back this turn, so that's good. So I could attack with Falmar Knight. Opponent takes it, I sacrifice it. Order, pick it back up, and then... I can play Order and play Falmar Knight to have it on defense. That sounds okay. And then uh, Order can also start attacking them. And I don't think I have time to draw a card first with the Falmar Knights. Just want it on defense, where it can either trade off for the Paladin or force them to make this unblockable. Uh, 
And then next turn the Swordmaster also represents quite a bit of damage. Alright, so Ginger Brute's unblockable. Take four. Alright, Commander, so let's play some more Knights. I think I'm just attacking with Order and Falmar Knight, see what happens. Opponent takes it. I guess I could have kept up white mana to represent an outflank. My opponent did nothing with four mana, so I guess that's good. Sir Allen, we can downfall. Do I need to activate Ayara? I could sack the Swordmaster, which isn't doing a whole lot. Let's see, is their opponent dead? I guess I can downfall attack with everyone, block. I guess they're dead regardless, so sure. Alright, so opponent had Ginger Brute into all that glitters, but uh, Ayara definitely uh, did a ton of work just draining them out. Yeah, I could have also sacrificed the Swordmaster, get it back with Forever Young, Curry Favor again. A lot of ways to end the game there, but uh, attacking is the most straightforward way. And yeah, there's Sir Conrad, so uh, not a great hand for the Wicked Guardian at the moment, but still gonna keep. Alright, Witching Well, so if they're playing a mill deck, then Sir Conrad's gonna be quite good. Order also pretty decent against the mill deck. Gonna make sure to play out our swamps, so we can potentially still play an early Ayara. Alright, Blue Red, so... Not quite the deck we imagined. Sit for two. And I could play Order as just a 2 2 creature here. If I want to put the pedal to the metal, playing a 2 2 flyer is not bad. And I still have the Witch's Cottage to return something from the graveyard, so I actually don't mind it. That's a decent blocker, and I can't target it with the Trapped in the Tower, sadly. So yeah, that's uh, too bad. I could Wicked Guardian kill my own creature to draw a card. I guess I can kill my order and then put it back on top with the Witch's Cottage later. That's kind of nice. Yeah, I guess that's the play. I don't have to deal the damage, but I actively want to draw the card here. To find an answer for this Paladin. Let's see how they deal with our 4-2. Hopefully no answer for Sir Conrad. Don't have to play Sir Conrad here. Could play Commander first, but then I'm not doing much else. So it seems better to play Conrad. Yeah, if we ever find Ayara, we can sacrifice a Guardian. So your opponent's gonna be looking for an answer for Sir Conrad. Then I can Witch's Cottage it back, or Witch's Cottage back the Order, and then get Conrad back. So we've got some... Ways to recur it. And profits, I can easily trap in a tower. So that's good. It's an aggressive attack. And Forever Young, a wombo combo with Sir Conrad as well. Could even put a uh, creature on top and then mill myself with Conrad to make sure I deal the one damage here. 
but I kind of want to draw the order as well. So step one is uh, trapped in the tower. Attack with both. And then I'm just going to play commander. Say go. And then I've got a Sir Conrad activation at the ready. Maybe they'll play another witching well and then Sir Conrad can mess up the scry. So there's a bit of uh, advantage to waiting on the activation. Just two lands gone. Epic downfalls, pretty epic. So that can go after one of the flyers. Probably the Paladin, so the Swordmaster can still attack. Even though the ability on the Dragon is more relevant. Get in there. Might be able to like combo kill my opponent here with Forever Young in a second. Yeah, like if they have a burn spell, making Conrad indestructible would be nice. I think I'm gonna do that. If they want to trade here, that's fine by me. They're probably blocking Commander anyway. All right, so that works. Uh oh, a bounce spell bouncing profit back. That's unfortunate. I can't replay Conrad this turn, or can I? I guess I haven't played a land yet, so I might be able to. In which case, I don't want to activate him. Yeah, that seems fine. So I don't get the Conrad trigger here from the cottage, but that's okay. And then I guess I'll put order back, which can get back the commander as well. And then Conrad can attack and trade, and then Order can get Conrad back. So we're doing fine. Could also put a stop on upkeep in case I somehow wanted to mill myself. It's going to be a scavenger to bounce it, so that's going to delay this for another turn. So I could get back Commander this turn. I guess what I'll do is just play Conrad, get back Commander, drain the opponent for one. Could have also just played out my order as a 2-2 flyer, but might as well get maximum value. Still have a Forever Young, so Sir Conrad is not going anywhere. A good chance I could kill my opponent if I just mill a ton of creatures with Conrad and maybe use Forever Young to get them back. Um, can also use the Lost Legion to kind of scry some creatures to the top of my deck have a lot of options. Could also just play out my creatures this turn and then start milling next turn. Building up a board presence isn't bad and I get to be pretty mana efficient about it. Yeah, I'll keep both of those. The Reef Soul can take care of the Paladin, so the Order can attack. Could have put the Wicked Guardian first to draw the Reef Soul afterwards, which would have been fine. But I also have the option of just uh, milling the Wicked Guardian, which is good. So yeah, my opponent uh, sees a writing on the wall and uh, has to pack it in. Sir Conrad is pretty messed up and we still had another way of getting it back. And is great. I could play this knight on turn one, which isn't crazy given that we have witches to get a bit of recursion, but it is also a nice turn four play, which I currently don't have. So I think I'll wait.
think I'm okay trading commander for Ratcap, although I don't have to. Wicked Guardian, nice combo with my Lost Legion too. Reaper seems great. And I don't mind drawing a land afterwards. Yeah, I think I'm okay trading resources since I have so many two for ones in my hands. That I don't really mind. Like, this is a two for one, this is a two for one, this is a two for one, this is a two for one. Just want to trade off some resources, basically. So this turn I like uh, draw a card, play a Death Toucher. I guess Wicked Guardian might be better, since it trades pretty well for the Ogre as well. Again, there's no bad options. But um, it's easier to maybe sneak in the Falmar Knight later, whereas playing Wicked Guardian is a 4-mana investment. Not a rat cap. And a brute, so now the Reaper is looking great. They can hit me for one with a brute, that's fine. Huh, interesting, so they didn't. So this probably means I have a barge in, in hand. Plus two, plus two, and trample to a non-human that's attacking. So this would be a five, six. So I could double block it and they would just trade for the barge in. Then the Reaper loses a bit of value. So given that I have a Reaper in hand, I don't see a reason to let them use it. I might as well make him discard it. So I just take three here. Opponent doesn't use a barge in, but we'll make him discard it here in a second. Well, let's see if we were right. Yep, there it is. Barge in, as well as Ferocity of the Wilds, which would have been kind of scary. And do I play Knight as a 1-1 Death Touch? I don't think we have to. We're the ones holding all the cards here. Literally. They do have a Ginger Brute that can ping us for one, but that's acceptable. Another Guardian's great. I guess Lost Legion's crying to some more lands, and I'm... Another commander, sure. Seems fine. Play Skewer. Do want to start attacking them at some point. So maybe I'll start there. And then I'm just going to draw with the Falmar Knight end of turn. Land means I get to Reaper as well. Guardian is still good to attack. This is gonna maybe be a triple block or a chump and sacrifice. Either one is fine. So chump and sack. Playing Reaper to get an evasive uh, threat out there is nice. Yeah, sure. make some blocks. Don't really mind if any of my creatures die here. I think I just want to play around my opponent having two pump spells and killing me out of nowhere. What would those pump spells be? Like two tricks that give plus two power would be plus four, so there's still only ten damage. So I still wouldn't die. But yeah, my opponent uh, sees a writing on the wall. 
Again, would have been difficult to mess that game up too badly. And seems fine. Lead with the Swamp. Again, in case of Ayara. But I'm probably still playing Knight on 2. And it's going to be a turn to Flying Order. Tapped Cabin. Casket's a nice answer, and Legion can scrime into more action, so... So far, so good. Sure, I'll take a bell. So I can go turn 4 bell, turn 5, maybe Skewer Equip. Ooh, Lucky Clover, that can definitely be a scary card. So if they drew that for the turn, not much we can do about it. Even if they put some counters on the order with like a tree folk, I can still exile it since this cares about mana costs and not power. So yeah, there's a tree folk. We're gonna take a bit of a hit, but a uh, nice two mana answer here. So it actually works out fine. If this was a reef soul, we could be in trouble here. And Point's gonna need uh, some good answers. See a hand of uh, two lands, at least my opponent doesn't have to discard. Curious Pair makes some food so they can go up to 8 life, which is not enough. Alright, sweet. That was a quick one. Saved by the glass caskets. So there are definitely situations where you would much rather have it over Reef Soul, but then again, there are situations where Reef Soul's better. On the play, I've got Spinning Wheel to fix our mana and potentially ramp into a turn for Conrad. Yeah, this seems okay. Just need any third land basically for the sand to be functional. I could play the knight on one since I'm not gonna maybe have time to draw a card on three, but yeah, generally speaking, it's better if you get the card out of it first. So yeah, hopefully we can pick up a land here. Another lucky clover, this time on turn two. All right, could be in a bit of trouble now. Missing a land drop and a pretty powerful card on the other side. And we'll play the knight now to increase our pressure a little bit. All right, opponent takes two. There's a land, so we might still have a chance. Now, wheel versus commander is an interesting question. Commander does curve into guardian pretty well. Because guardian right now, if I don't draw land next turn, wouldn't be great. So I think I'm leaning commander. And then if I draw land, guardian's great. If I don't draw land, I can still play wheel. Or with a land, I could potentially go wheel plus casket if I need to remove a creature. My entire hand has to go here because of Clover. Fair enough. Well, that's too bad. Got to hope to draw into uh, some Graveyard Recursion. I do have a removal spells and I have five power in place, so it's not like we don't have a chance here, but... So I'm gonna trap the Witch Talker. Witches could be useful later. 
and make Swordmaster indestructible. Opponent can trade off and take 4, or they can take 5. I'm also at 28, so I do have a bit of time to draw out of it, potentially. So yeah, it's not looking great. It's not a removal spell. Would be unfortunate if they have another Reaper. But at least I can answer the Reaper that they're maybe about to play. Opponent's gonna play it safe and make some food first. Also lines up well against my Swordmaster in general. I mean, opponent's almost empty-handed. Witches can get back Sir Conrad, so... Still definitely in the game. I'm okay trading Swordmasters, I think. Can downfall Reaper. So I don't have to downfall the Reaper now, I can just Witches back Conrad, which might be the play. It's a bit more mana efficient for sure. And at 32 life taking force, not a disaster. Right, they've got their own witches, get back their knight. They might have tapped their mana slightly awkwardly. Never mind. So yeah, uh, Conrad it is. Point got six more life in these food tokens. So we're definitely not close to killing them. But uh, Conrad will need to be answered once again. Guardian's not bad. So the play is just going to be Downfall Reaper, play Commander, and then set up for this Wicked Guardian, and then Commander can also enable Conrad to start attacking. And the exile part is also relevant in case they could maybe get Reaper back later. Alright, Skewers. Interesting too. Am I better off just playing the Wicked Guardian? Which I think I am. Just dig a bit deeper. And I think I prefer playing Skewer over a single Conrad activation. So no attacks for now. And then next turn we can see what we can do with uh, Skewer. So I would say the board is close to parity here. We were definitely able to recover from the discard 4 from Reaper, but they have another one. At least I got to empty my hand in time. Ooh, how many creatures are there in my graveyard? One, two, three, four. So that represents uh, quite a bit of damage with Conrad. I can even curry favor again with uh, a couple knights in play. Like, I don't have to for every young now. I can just use this as a lethal burn spell, basically. I think I'm just gonna pass a turn here and activate Conrad three times. All right, well, I guess uh, that'll do it. 
Conrad claims another victim. So we're 5-0, oh, not bad. Let's keep it up. Don't know if we can keep this. Yeah, I guess we'll be okay. I get to play turn 2 Skewer, hopefully turn 3, at least a wheel. If it's a Plains, if it's a Swamp, of course, I can just play a Legion. And then the Scry from Legion can make sure I can keep hitting my land drops. Legion plus Guardian is a nice combo. I'll play Cottage in case I pick up Commander turn 2. Keep playing my Swamps in case of Ayara. So yeah, we're, we're doing fine. I could play Wheel, but the curve we want to go for here is Legion into Guardian, so I want to get the Legion in play first, Scry for Lance. And there it is. Do I want a Youthful Knight afterwards? It is good with a Skewer, so that's a reason to keep it here. So I would go Guardian, draw Youthful Knight. Yeah, sure, why not? Henchwalker. It's okay. No attacks. I'm fine trading off Guardian for Walker. So this could be some sort of artifact synergy deck. I'm gonna offer the trade. Happy trading Commander for one of the Walkers since we can get it back with the Witches. So here I can go wheel into commander or I can go double two drop. I think I like wheel into commander since that enables me to play witches next turn potentially to get commander back if it traded off. Although getting the knight in play with skewer is also pretty tempting. So yeah, they appear to be mono white. Tactician get in for six. Fair enough. Casket's pretty good too. Getting rid of the flyer would be pretty valuable. Gotta watch out for like a lethal all that glitters out of nowhere. So that's a potentially scary card. And then probably equip the Lost Legion. Could keep some creatures on defense, but I'm also hitting my point for 10 here, so I feel like I can attack. Alright, Paladin 3-6. That's a risky attack. Do they have another Tactician maybe to tap two creatures down? Could uh, definitely be the case. My opponent would be dead on board if they didn't have a Tactician, so they have to have one here basically. Could also be outflank. Starting with a downfall can be too bad here. And then outflank wouldn't be enough. So let's move to combat, see what they do. But it looks like a tactician. Sure. So I'm not gonna bother attacking. Don't wanna randomly die. Just play my knights. Okay, trading off commander given the witches. And we're still in a fine position. Alright, Shambling Suit, another 3-3. Three, three. But I still feel okay about this. We had a pretty even game, but we drew an extra card from the Wicked Guardian. The Barrow Witches is a nice 2 for 1. So, we're definitely starting to pull ahead. Still have the Spinning Wheel to tap stuff down as well. So our opponent's going to be very careful with uh, any potential attacks. Stays back. So what happens if I... Attack with everyone, maybe but the Youthful Knight. Could also equip the Youthful Knight and send it, but it's fine if I just send a Legion. My opponent could take four, fall to two, which means two creatures get blocked and trade off. In which case, I can't really die on the way back unless they top deck something. 
So I think I'm okay attacking. And trading off for their artifacts also means that something like an all dead glitters couldn't kill me as easily. So those trade. Bones at two. And I think just playing a witches is uh, the play. Get back commander. Have a good blocker for the walkers. And we have uh, three lethal threats. So yeah, I can't take eight, otherwise I'm dead. But I can just tap down something with a wheel. So it doesn't really matter how I do this. They aren't indestructible, just vigilant. So might as well trade off. But they're dead to the spinning wheel activation. And also just to me attacking. Alright, sweet. That was an interesting mono white tech from my opponent. So we're 6 0, time for the final boss. Going pretty smoothly so far. Alright, on the play, our hand is quite good if I draw third land. Any land will do, since I'll get to Lost Legion into Wicked Guardians to draw me extra cards, and then Conrad's a nice finisher. Would have preferred to maybe be on the draw with this hand to guarantee a land, but I think this hand has enough going for it. Alright, I'm perfectly happy to play the Cottage here to guarantee a Lost Legion next turn, even though I potentially give up on a little bit of value down the line. Blue-black, so it could be a controlling mill deck instead Lucky Clover. Well, Lucky Clover plus uh, Merfolk Secret Keeper is uh, pretty scary. So I could scry, of course, if my opponent's playing a mill deck, they can mess up my scry by milling me. So I could play Bell instead, but I really want to get these Wicked Guardians in play and draw me a card, so I think I'm still playing Legion, fully knowing that uh, the scries might not stay on top. So yeah, I'll keep the land and not really interested in the skewer right now. And hopefully we don't get milled. Yeah, there we go. Mill for eight. That's going to start adding up. Alright, I guess I'll take an Ayara. Now Bell might actually be slightly better here. It's close. Bell can potentially attack past a single Secret Keeper, but making sure to resolve Ayara while we can is nice. It's another 3 toughness creature for Guardian in case something happens to one of them. Probably should have attacked first, but there's no way my opponent doesn't block there. So yeah, Forever Young sadly is gone. So that's definitely a setback in this matchup. Skewer, that's unusual. Opponent keeps up two mana, could be one of the bounce spells here. I'm not desperate enough to start sacking my creatures to hit my land drop since I have a play lined up. And yeah, we're gonna see the bounce spell. Oh, so tiny instead. Alright, don't really mind. Ayara still has text besides uh, having no power. Yeah, that's another 8. So Lucky Clover is very good in kind of the turbo mill variety. 13 cards remaining. 2-5 on defense. Reef Soul is a fine answer. Ayara can't sacrifice herself. Looks like they might have another so tiny.
No, never mind. Just an opt. Well, our opponent doesn't have a ton of cards left, but they did keep a card on top. 12 cards remaining, so we'll see. Would have loved to get a Sir Conrad in play in this matchup, but struggling to hit our land drops. Guardian's pretty good. Alright, so I get to play a Wicked Guardian at the very least. And I guess we're still attacking with both if they want to double block Bell. So be it. Just a trade there. So, ideally I draw land for Conrad next turn. Charm Sleep means I can sacrifice Bell with Ayara. Now of course there is a downside to drawing a card against the mill deck, but... really just want to find land 5. I guess there is a bit of value to a bell in play since it's a knight for a curry favor, but we did find a land, so that's the important part here. And no attacks. Finding white mana would be nice too. How many planes do we have left? Still three in the deck. Three and eight, so... I'm pretty likely to draw a planes. Hopefully no more secret keepers. That's okay. Dice to my downfall. So planes of the top so I can kill two creatures would be ideal. Barrow witches instead. I think I just sent Conrad. It was a close call though. So I probably have lethal next turn. Good hope they don't top deck another big mill card. That's totally fine. Not gonna sack Sir Conrad here. So I don't think we're sacking anything to Ayara. Just gonna untap and see what's up. Potence hangs back with the food token here instead of equipping. Still no planes. So I should be able to figure out the last cards in my deck, which could be relevant for Conrad. So we know we have three planes. So there's still three unknowns. Do I have any swamps left? One, two, three, four, five, nine. So don't have any swamps left, just three planes and then three spells. Wheel skewer and order. So only one creature left in the deck. Let's just go to combats. I could have played Guardian in the hopes of drawing one of my planes, play the planes, casket this, and then they're dead. But uh, we'll try this. So my opponent's at two. They're gonna fall to one. So if I play Wicked Guardian, I drain them with Ayara. I can kill one of my creatures with Wicked Guardian, which drains them with Conrad. And then I can sack another creature with Ayara, which drains them with Conrad. So that's three total. I guess what I can do is sack Swordmaster and get it back with the Barrow Witches. Is that enough? Because that would also drain them for one with the witches in addition. So yeah, one, two, three, four. I guess that is four. So yeah, that should be enough. So yeah, sack a creature, deal one with Conrad. Play witches, returning. 
Swordmaster, that's one more with Conrad. One more with Ayara. And then the final point with the Swordmaster. Alright, I think we got there. Alright, sweet. And we get to level up as well. The only thing to fear is well, everything. Alright, sweet, so another nice 7 0 featuring black white knight, so something different from your typical mill decks. Let's crack some packs. Got a Spyglass for the Constructed decks. In Limited, we're mostly looking at Epic Downfall. And a nice wild card. All right, sweet. But for now, I want to thank everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.